So hi, Gabriela. I see that um, it is 12 o'clock already and you're the only one. So first, Happy New Year to you. Hope that you can be healthy and don't really get COVID-19. All right, Gabriela. Let's do some look it for some fun. Just some fun, all right? A little bit of fun. I will choose one topic from eye contact, hand gesture. I will send it and let's see how well you remember it, right? Question is about Banka. Why can't we see her again? Oh, all right. So she have studies. She have a lot of studies to do. So that is the reason why she have to go. So she have more time to spare on her lessons and her exams. All right? All right. All right. I also hope that we can see her again someday. All right. All right. So let's see. Can you host this? No question. No. Mm, I think we can join into Fishing Frenzy, all right? We will play it for three minutes for some fun. Right, Gabriella. Here it is. The ID is here. Yeah, you can join now. Let me share the screen. This. Let me share a little bit. Gabriela, what happened? My computer is a bit of slow. Oh, all right. So I can join. So I can join. Look, I can join. So I can share screen and you will choose the answer, all right? All right. All right, so Lily is here. All right. This one. Hi. Hi, Lily. Wow, you look so different. Wow, well, yeah. it's a long time to see you. All right, let me send the link of the look it again. We're going to have some fun before we start our lesson. And also, and also, <coughs> yes. And also, Becca cannot join and she completely out of the group, but I hope that we can see her more if she finishes her study in any else. Right, Lily, Gabriella, this is your Nick. Right, Lily. Uh, Hi, Gabriella. Gabriella. Let me out. This one go out. Oops, no. Ah, sorry. Okay, sorry, when we start, go ahead. Wait, sorry, Gabriella. I accidentally touched it. Can you get in again, or I'll get in for you? 
Gabriella? Uh, when you have blocks, then the, the game I can join. Oh. So you can join again. Why can't you join again? Okay, I'm joining. Yes, I see you join. You can still join again, right? I can still join, even I block myself. All right, stop. There you are. So I think you all know this. Let me share my screen. Right, so let me share this. Yeah, come on, girls. Girls. Gabriella. Right, so no one got real, a real fish. Yeah. Oh, Lily, you get a clownfish. Clownfish. Okay. And I have a cat. A cat? Oh, all right. Yes. Gabriella. I have a turtle. Gabriella, can you do these? What well, I have always the growl fish. All oh. right. So Gabriella, do you want what? me? What? Can you do it, Gabriella? No, I can't because it is yours, but it is not mine. Oh, all right. Yeah. Understand. All right, understand, understand. Let me end it. Right. So you cannot Wait. join, right? Guys, guys, let, I will let you take it. Right? Play okay. Again. Look, rush, because now we got people. So now we're gonna play three minutes and half now. This will get easier. So wait, copy, join link. And here they come. Right, so join in Gabriella. Now you can join with yourself. Sorry that I get out without noticing I'm getting out. Come on guys. Get in. Get in. Where are you? Where are you? Lily, you're here. Gabriella? Yes. Have you joined? No, I can't. Just join in again. Just need to delete this tab and go back to looking. That's all. Gabriella. Join in again, one more time. Come on. Because we have to start very fast. No time to waste. That's it. Right. right now. Oh. Okay. Guys, sorry again. I can't, we cannot play without two more people. So I'm gonna play two to check.
Right, you can play now. Let me share my screen. Yes. There it is. Now you need to answer the question. I'm going to play too, right? Stop. Yeah, it is. Attack or defend. Depending when increase your shirt by one. Attack or reduce enemy shirts by one. If they have no shirts, you take one of the blocks. Most blocks are actually there. Let's go. Let me start sharing. I cannot share. Yes. Let's attack. Oh no. Let's attack. Guys, you can choose attack or defend. Attack, you can attack me. Defend, you can defend yourself, right? So come on, just play. Look to the left, to the right. And attack myself. There it is. I will attack. There it is. Um, look at that. Oh, guys, just keep playing. I have to go somewhere. I'm back. Let's see. Can you move on purpose? Attack, attack. Oh no. Right. You're going to win, guys. Okay. More. We're not concentrating and not looking at you. Hmm. I want to attack. Nah. Attack. No, guys. Let me attack one of yours. Come on. Come on, dear. Attack. Ah. Oh. You guys win. Congratulations. I thought I had to shift. The team a little bit because if I'm playing who well I can say yes. Right. So thank you for joining the game. All right. So now have you got any fun? And uh, a bit. A bit. We will have some yeah. music you, so don't worry. Gabriella, you have any fun? Yeah. yeah, super fun. Now, it is time for us to go to, it is time for us. Right, it is time for us to first listen to the video we're going to film this week, right? Okay. Okay. Let me open it. Let's see. It is safe a tree? It is called safe a tree 
save a life. Okay. Right? Save a tree, yeah. save a life. And, and if you can, you can prepare for the, um, oops, for the last one, for the one right here, up here a little bit. The power of saying thank you, please me too. All right? Okay. Right. Wait, wait for me. Go check. Can you hear the sound? No? Last year, my mom took me to Gabriela Island for spring break. We lived in a cabin with her friends. The cabin was made out of wood and it was indoors. One day when we were having dinner, I told my mom shirt how lucky she was to be living in a forest and how much I wish to live in a forest too. We all laughed. And then I'm, my mom pointed out that I live in a forest too. Because our house is made out of wood, our furniture is made out of wood, our books and all paper products are also made out of wood. We laughed at this again. But then I realized how true this is. More importantly, I realized how valuable the forest is to us. People cut down trees to produce paper for books, magazines, packaging, toilet paper, cleaning rolls, and to make many other products. But they take it for granted often overuse and sometimes even waste paper unnecessarily. Don't they realize that tree needs to be cut down for all that paper? Trees and plants are essential. They create oxygen, absorb greenhouse gases, ground water in their roots, and release it into the atmosphere. Without trees and green plants, the soil will dry out. The flooding will increase. Many land animals cannot survive, and the climate will become drier and warmer. Sadly, deforestation is increasing day by day. Wildfires are on the rise, and animals are losing their habitat in the forest. I just learned that 46% of the world's forests are already destroyed. And even more surprisingly, every 1.2 seconds, or every time you blink, an area of forest the size of a football field is gone. Forever. These trees took one thousand years to grow. But humans only take six days to destroy them. Just six days to destroy them. If things don't change and deforestation keeps on increasing, we're going to lose the lungs of this planet and we will all have to f face the terrible consequences. It is time to take action to stop overusing paper products to save more trees and save the forest. So what's the solution? Is it possible to save trees? Yes, it is. In fact, it's so easy to save the trees. The easiest way to start is to reduce the amount of paper that you need. Paper is a necessary product in schools, colleges, offices, and at home. You can use both sides of the paper before you toss it. Reducing our use of paper is the first step to saving the trees. The second thing we can do is to give away our books to someone in need. 
Sharon is caring, right? You can borrow books from your library or donate the books you already read. By doing this, you're reusing the paper that is already out there. When I've used every square inch of paper, make sure you recycle it. Paper is easily recycled. And when you need notebooks for school or just want to read books, you can buy the ones that are made from recycled paper. It's a win-win. The next thing we can do is to replace paper with something else. We can use digital devices to store information. And we can do our cleaning with cloth towels instead of paper towels. Finally, we all need to replant. We can plant a tree in our backyard or have a tiny herb garden by the window. Replanting is so important to maintain and increase the number of trees. Trees are so valuable and vital to our planet. They clean the air, stabilize the soil, and their homes to many living creatures. And right now, their existence is being threatened. I hope you will all join me. Reducing your paper use, reusing books and magazines, recycling paper and cartons, replacing paper with alternatives, and most importantly, replanting trees. Start creating your green habits today because these green habits will create a greener planet tomorrow. Remember, if you cut a tree, you kill a life. If you save a tree, you save a life. If you plant a tree, you create a life. Do you hear the video? Guys. Yes? You hear the video, right? Yeah. Gabriela? That is, that is a little bit of a lie. But Ma? it's just a, yes? No, I felt so small. Gabriela? No, I think it's a lie. Gabriela! Gabriela! Yes. Have you heard the video? Yes, but the volume is a bit small. Oh, all right. So now, firstly, I think. So firstly, I will ask each of you, what have she done to make a good presentation? What she need to reduce, to fix, to make a presentation interesting, more interesting, right? So first, let's begin with. You, Lily. Yes. <clears throat> what can she, um, what is good about her in her presentation? What about her hand gesture, her eye contact? Does she move like that? Uh, yes, I think she's very great at it. But I think she is just uh, much of hand gesture. And I think she is... Use letter, just use. Um, I think she must. I think she must use about so lesser than her eye contact. I think it is. All right. I don't know. All right. So you think that um. She can use less hand gesture and eye contact? No, eye contact, uh, she's very good, but... Oh, I so you want... Use, uh, uh, I understand.
All right. All right, Lily. Sorry, it's a little bit loud here. Okay. So, um, all right, Lily, I think yours, right? Right. What about you, Capriola? I think, I think that um, she has your eye contact and hand gestures. She needs to improve more by um, by do, by stepping around the so the red circle that uh, she's standing because when she stand around on one place, that's boring. All right, thank you for your comments, Gabriella. So here's the thing. I think that wait, right. So the thing is that she's good at eye contact. She look around. She look at her hand to emphasize this, to make sure that everyone understands this hand is important. She look at it and look at the audience like this, from this to this. So she makes sure that everyone notice where she's pointing, what that hand gesture means. She used a lot of hand gesture, by the way, and is repeating too much. I don't say it's bad, but it would be better if she make it more open, straight, not like this. She, she do like this and like this, but when she close it in, it seems like a little bit struggle or something. So I think it just could fine like this. Do like this mumbling with her hand. It is not good to do that. It is just show you're shy. Don't remember anything. Just say on purpose. I mean, just say on purpose. Yes. Well, so that's the first thing that I think you can do. You can uh that I think that everyone will know. And to to level up the level, well, to level up the level, I think that she can move, as Gabriella can say, she can move a little bit. We don't need to move around the circle. Gabriella? Yes. So she don't have to move around the circle. So you mean around it will be like this. She need, just need to move a little bit over the left. She just need to move a little bit to that. So that's me that I go to the second part. Don't need to take a step high to the side of the circle, high to the side of the circle, round the circle. Just need to a little bit step, a little bit step, a little bit step. Right, everyone? Right. And. Also, today we will review what we need to do for preparation and the presentation that taking together us as a group. Right. So wait for me, I'm opening the PowerPoint a little bit. Just wait for me a little bit. I so today we plan activities. Here it is. Right there. Let's go. So firstly, let's see what the topic is. First, what we'll make a good presentation? So everyone, do you know what makes a good presentation? Anyone, please raise your hand. Each time you raise your hand, you get one point for today. So who get the highest point? I will add a bonus point to the command. Let's see your attendance are very good. You can tap, right? So anyone who knows what make a good presentation? So first, as I said before, if you want to have a presentation, not really good, but already have a presentation, what do you need? 
made them myself. It's rarity. Luna? I think. Um, yes, Lily? Um, I think that we must. Yes, really? We need to? I think that we must um, must have a uh, confidently and uh, I think we have a uh, confidently and be confident some... and just think if you want to stand on the stage, you need to be confident and you need to have a good this just really relate to what you have learned. Seriously, vocal variety, hand gesture, eye contact, body movement, all relate to those things. Okay. So it's also relate to be confident. Great. What about you, Gabriella? Yes. Right. So what make a good presentation? Moving um like a little bit, like left, yes. right, down, yes. and what next? contact, and uh, and like and when you and uh, and you make how to make an impressions for the people who hear like the sentence is when I pick up trash I think of the world, so we will say like when I pick up the trash. I think the world, it makes the presentations better. Thank you for your, thank you for your thinking, Gabriella and Lily. So each of you get one point for attendance. So your attendance good for this week. Right. So firstly, as I said before, we got two sections to think of. Before you already get in about thinking body movement and vocal variety, it is you need to prepare and you need to know. And when there are two times, first you need to prepare, secondly, you will present on the stage. So, firstly, this right. So, first, let's move for first preparation. What do we need to do? For our preparation, we need to deal with the content. Tools is optional. If you want to stand in the large crowd and you want to present them better presentation, so you can make tools with, for example, how for slide, my map, so on. I will inform you later. And we need to be confident as what Lily just said. Right, so next, let's go. First. Wait. Sorry. Firstly, it is the content. First, what do you think? Why well, I have a paper here? If you have a blank paper, what do you what firstly what do you need to inform this paper to have a presentation? What about you, Lily? So firstly, what do we have to do to make a good presentation on this paper? Now standing in front of crowd. First, what we need to do with this paper? What do I put mm. here? I think we write something, right? Yes, we write something, but what is that something? Think. Think, think, think. All right. Wait, oh, Gabriella. Gabriella. Yes. So Lily has said that we have to write something on the paper for the presentation. So now what do you think is the something on this paper? So what is the something we need to write on this paper? I think and I think that 
It is um, the confident hand gesture. Um, all right, Lily, you're get um a little bit out of time. We have get it already. Now we're talking about what we need to write on this paper. Gabriela, any? Now first we write out the 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 outro, the intro, and then the middle part, and then finally the outro. Right. Thank you. So you're nearly right. So you're nearly right a little bit. A little bit is actually what we need to write a paper. But the first thing you need to write is topic. You can outline the topic. You can add some adjective and adverbs at this adjective, at this topic. Right. And yes, you're right, Gabriella. We need to add the intro, middle part, and the conclusion. And the conclusion, right? So we need to outline the ideas. We need to outline what are we doing on the stage? What should we do? That is something that you need to outline. So after about 30 minutes, we walk and we walk, we actually go to this part. So this is the notes. And you have written a lot of things. You have to read it and remember it. Read, remember, understand. Read, remember, understand. Right, and we go to next step. You practice. I think you should practice in front of a mirror, in front of your stuffed animals, in front of real life people before you went to the real stage to present. This is what you need to prepare for the content. Any questions? Any questions? Gabriela, any questions? No. All right. So what do we need to do to prepare? The content. Can you explain it again? Gabriela? I think that um, it, we, have, we should practice with mom and dad every day so we can be good about talking. And right. also practice hand gesture yes yes so that's all in practice so gabriella can you remember first step second step third step what we need to prepare for the content gabriella do you remember first step second step third step what we need to do to Prepare for the content? Um, I don't remember. Right. So let me say it again. First step, outline the topic, the ideas, and what are you going to do on the stage? Second step, you will write your ideas out of the paper or put it in the right order. Read it again. Fix it a little bit. Read it, remember it, and understand it. Read, remember, understand. Always remember it. And lastly, you practice in front of a mirror, some animals, your parents, any real life people you can practice with before you went on the stage. Right? Everyone? Guys, please turn on the camera. Yes. You understand it, right? Yes. Because I will ask them suddenly about the content and everything. So I hope that you really understand it. Next, we go to tools. It's optional. You can use some tools like PowerPoint. This is my PowerPoint I need. Or about my map. My map, you only need a paper. You use your images, color, words, 
lines can I pick the blank organic and you can read the whole of this how to make a mind map this usually do when you actually want to present a higher a higher level public speaking don't usually use PowerPoint but we can use it to inner line outer line the mind of the people all right my back, organic. All right, that's better. So anyone understand what I mean? This is really easy to understand. Yeah. Gabriella, understand? Yes. So what do we need? What tools do we need? What kind of tools do we need? And you have any more tools? Oh, also, we can add some your experiment. You can add facts and numbers in it. In your slide, right? In your slide, your mind map. Right, so what kind of tools do we need? What kind of tools, optional tools, do we need for our presentation to make it better? Gabriella? Gabriella. Yes. I think that you're doing something. So please pay attention. So my question is, what optional tools that we need to that we use in public speaking? Um, first is mind maps. And um, the second thing is something that I can't remember. A PowerPoint slide, the thing that I'm using right now. Yeah. This is and what. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. I think there's one more, one more tools. What? It is, it is noting. Noting in right. Word. Right. Thank you. So, thank you very much. This is also one of the tools is note. So you can bring your note up in. The stage this is rarely used because we need eye contact, right? If we look in the paper, it will make less eye contact, but you can still do that to make you remind of your presentation. But remember, you we rarely do that, and we often remember, understand. Right. If you all remember, let's go to the confidence. Everyone, are you confident in answering questions right now? Right, so let's see, yes. This is what you need to do to be confident. The A, B, C. Act confidently. I mean, A, act confidently, B, breathe, C, come prepared. Come prepared means you need to prepare what you need. Drink water, do anything that you felt that you prepared enough for a presentation. It will make you feel better, more confident because you know you have become, you have well prepared your presentation. Anyone remember the ABC structure? It is very important when you use in daily life, not just in public speaking. When you are, are get out for trials, when you are when you are talking to someone new, you make friends, not come prepared. You erase the C if you meeting a new friend, but you need to act confidently, be friendly, you need to breathe. I like going somewhere, like going on a date, just kidding. All right, so everyone remember the ABC structure? Anyone remember? Can you read it again for me? Right, Gabriella? Um, I can't read because I can't see the picture. Please. I give you one more minute to remember and I will remove the picture. 
so you can read it. Lily, have you remembered? Right, remember Gabriella? Remember it? Yes. Right, read it. First, act confidently. Be prepared. Uh, uh, I think that um, breathe. B is breathe. C is come prepare. Thank you. That is right. Act confidently is A, B, breathe. C, come prepare. Hope that you can always remember it. Right, you can lower your hand now. And what about you, Lily? Read it. A is act confidently. B is read. Uh, C is come prepare. Come prepared. Thank you guys for repeating. Remember, hope that you can remember in each lesson and before you always present in front of a camera. Always act confidently, always read. First, take a deep breath and come prepare. That's in our preparation. Right, let's go to the presentation. Anyone have to take big deal? What do you mean here by presentation? I don't mean the presentation, the note. But what this presentation mean? And what? Well, I'll just explain. I want you to talk some more. What about you, Lily? Lily? Yes. What kind of understand you know about presentation? I think that is, I think presentation is the thing of women. Yes. Why are you, Gabriella? Yes. What do you, what do we mean here of prison? Presentation. What is your understanding about presentation? I can't hear you clearly. It's a bit, it's a bit like laggy. Lag? Can you hear me now? Yeah, but I can't hear your question. Question. When you speak, all right, all right. Like... I will repeat it. So, what is your understanding about presentation? Uh, okay, presentation is a kind of tool that represents your talking. Rep um, presentation is easy because it can both doing online and offline. Presentations makes you feel more, more, more. Um, more Confidence. Maybe presentation is like PowerPoint slide? No, presentations teach you to be confident and give you the power to talk to everyone. So you mean presentation is mean presenting in front of other people? Yes. Right. Thank you. Right. So let's sit down. There it is. So thank you, Gabriella, and that is what I really mean here. Presentation, that means you're standing up and presenting to a whole big crowd. And what do we need to do in front of that whole big crowd? When you're presenting, and here they are, postures, gestures, voice, and interaction. And everyone, what is your understanding of postures? Postures. Anyone know what is postures mean? Anyone? No one, right. So this is what postures mean. 
postures mean is all right let me stand it a little bit better so postures mean is how you stand how you jump that means is your actions is your body doing standing yes. doing things running jumping it also means that what is how's your body looking like you stand straight your body straight you do like this your back is crowd down so how to have a good postures i will introduce to you right now anyone see let's go yes so to have a good posture you always have to stand straight straight open body what i mean open body you relax you don't do like this you don't do straight like some the robots are itching you your body straight open do you like this don't don't stitch to your body. Open your arms, open your elbows, open your hands. Like you're welcoming everyone to your presentation. I think it's a little bit crazy to say that, but yes, that's the thing. So everyone understand about postures. Everyone understand about postures? About postures. Yes. Gabriella? You understand about postures? Yes. Right. You really understand about it? All right. Right, so let's go. Wait for me. Now. After posture, we got gesture. Anyone can tell me what is, does it mean gesture? What does it mean, gesture? What does gesture mean? Gabriella? Gesture means you know, like uh, putting your hands around like this, or like this, like this, like that. Thank you. So this, what gesture mean? Yes, you're good at hand gesture. But do you know that eye contact is a, also a kind of gesture? Anyone know, please make a thumbs up. Lily? Yes. Do you know that eye contact is also a kind of gesture? Yes. Right. All right. So this is what gestures mean. Gestures is the way you move. Gesture is the way you put out your hand. Or say simply, gesture it is the way. So it is the way that you look, the way that you move, the way that you do your actions. Looking around is like a gesture. Moving around is gesture. Doing hand gesture is also a gesture. You see the word gesture. Right. That it is gesture. So let's move to gesture. To know more about it. So first gesture we're going to find is hand gesture. Hand gesture. Right. Can anyone tell me what kind of gesture it is? Gabriella, a thumbs up, great. What kind of gesture is it, is this? Anyone? What? what about you, Lily? Yes. You know about this gesture? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think this is a thumb up. And... This little like pointing, and this like yeah. to find out something. Oh, so I found something. So you can put this gesture up. 
This okay. one, it is palm up. Wrapping something. Palm okay. up. This is palm down. This is pointing. And okay, there's um, also things like grabbing, punching, yeah. this kind of gesture that does not really need to do anything to do with hand gesture. You just need to know palms up, palms down, pointing, thumbs up. This simple gesture that you already have to know about it. So what about your hand gesture? What do you need to do? The other ones, remember, what do we need to do to have a very good hand gesture? Have a good gesture, hand gesture. Anyone? What is the do and what is the don't? Lily? What do you need to, what kind of things that you don't, that you can't, you mustn't do when you're using your hand gesture? And I think that use the hand gesture to All right, I think that you the hang is like fun or what do you mean? something uh, negative. Yes. Um, Gabriella, do you remember the lesson about hand gesture? What is a don't? We cannot do the things. I remember I teach you. Okay, so you asked like what a hand gesture we cannot use, right? Yeah, we mustn't use on stage. Who is rude hand gesture? Stand up and do what? the thing. Can can I act the hand yes, gesture? Yes, you can act. You can act. First, first, we can't do like this. You cannot put like your hand this. behind your back. Yes, and you can you cannot put your hand behind your back. And, and what then, next? And then you can't put your hand in your pocket. In your yes, pocket. you cannot put your hand in your pocket. What else? Next, you um, you can't do like this. It's like throwing your hands on the hip. It's just like rude. You're not respecting your audience. It's like, hey, what else? Come on, come on. Just like that. It's like challenging the audience. Unrespected, being unrespected. The audience being unrespected and respected. And it will make you an unfriendly. Yeah. Here's it. Of course. Lily, are you actually there? Yes, I was. Right, so that's one more thing. As I said, this is called pointing. But you can rarely point sometimes when it's important. When point over there, not at the audience. This pointing like this is rude. It is rude. See? And also, that is all that is all the don't. And what should we do to make you more friendly? Open your hands wide. Make this. Don't do like this. And pushing it like this. It will be very thing that you're so thick, you're so tough. Just open, relax, be friendly. Like that. Right. So let's move. Next, I need to click these. Move more. Here. Right. What is this, guys? Anyone knows? Anyone knows? This cat is a boss, and this dog is trying to get inside the company. So, what they have to do? They have to look at each other. And what is kind of gestures is this? Eye contact. Thank you, Gabriella. Eye contact. Sorry that I block this. Let me draw it. It will be better. Um, so this, they're looking at each other. Try to make it straight. There, see, they're looking at each other. Hey, boss, can I get into the company? Oh, yeah. But you don't have to look at me. Like that. 
Let me raise it. Yes. Let me see. There. So what do, why eye contact is important? Why eye contact is important? Yes, Lily? Lily, don't always turn off the camera. It is really rude. Come on. Come on. Lily? All right, what about you, Gabriella? Yes. So, what about I you? Think, oh, I think right, that Lily. is the way to convene, yes? Convince. Convince? What about you, Gabriella? What, um, what do you think about why it, why I can text is important? Yes, why is uh, eye contact important? Because that when you look into the eyes, you are respecting others. And when you look into your phone, you are not expecting others. So looking face to face and... Um, and looking um, face to face and looking at their eyes and online. They, is really helpful. Right, so this is why I can take it important. It's build trust and respect between you and the audience. It's build your confidence. It seems that you don't have something to lie about. It's true, look at my eyes. I'm confident about this truth. See, it emphasizes the really thing that the fact that you give is true. And it's show your respect. Don't look away. It's rude. Next. Anyone knows why I put this in? This is talking about legs. Right. So if I talk about legs, what is the first thing pop into your head that what we shouldn't do with our legs while we're presenting? Hop into your head. Yes, Gabriella? Um, I don't know. What about you, Lily? Brainstorm, guys. Brainstorm. Yes. So, what we shouldn't do with our life while we're presenting? Uh, you guys, looking. looking. No, our legs. We cannot look with our legs. Okay. And uh, look from a different side? No, our legs can't look. See? This is my legs. My legs okay. cannot look. I'm talking uh, about legs. Do, anyway. Okay. Um, All okay. right. Uh, get there. See it. All right, I will let you out of the hook. So this is what we need to do with our legs. And still, straight, still. This is what you have to avoid. Tapping your foot, dancing your foot, or moving like this, like you're bored, you want to move. But moving well, like this without purpose, well, I just... Moving. We'll, Hi we'll everyone, the, my name is Sue. <laughs> like that. We'll make the audience feel dizzy. Dizzy. Right? And feel unrespected. Yes. Like you just yes. think of yourself. This topic yeah. is not important. You can go home, guys. I'm just presenting for fun. Yeah. Yes. Like that. Okay. So that's body movement. I don't found any pictures of body movement, so I have to write this word here. So why body movement is important. Lily, why body movement is important? Uh, I think that it's very important to um, I don't know. 
I forgot it. Yeah, it is very con convenient for our eye contact. If you move closer to this group of people, you can look at the eyes of the audience more easier. And also, it will emphasize this for that mean that we're, we're moving to another sense. We're moving to another part. Everyone will know. All right? So we have just... Okay. We have just understand to see how you guys remember about these things. Wow, voice. Voice is very easy. Yeah. Yes. Can anyone know what this picture means? That is um the pouch, I think it's. Now let me help you with this. The voice are the Let's make a point here. This look like a Wi-Fi, nearly like a Wi-Fi, but it is not a Wi-Fi. This is a wave of sound. Can anyone, can anyone guess? Can anyone guess, guys? Yes. Anyone guess? Right. What do you do? The yeah, the volume, but you uh, have to make a circle because it's the usual things of volume, right? So yeah. there's a cost yeah. volume. Volume is nearly good. Volume can be high or small. Shout, whisper. So it is important with your volume. You will be just test your volume when it is the right, correct time to shout, to whisper, to make your voice just as normal as it is. Next is my pause. When you pause, everyone will breathe. If you don't pause, Hi everyone, my name is Sue and I'm 10 years old. Today I will talk about reading books. Let's go on. And when, I, when I keep talking without pause, you keep hearing. Stop breathing. Like that. Oh, I need to breathe. Everyone felt tired. That's all. And this one. Hi everyone. Can you read this for me? Right, right. Gabriella. 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 Can you read this for what me? What is it? What, what is, is it? it? Right. What is it? <laughs> I am asking Gabriella. Can you read this for me? It's because it is. It can't. It, uh, it is reading in some like kind of like, stupid things. All right. Yes, because this comic, this boy is talking too fast and we cannot even hear him. Congratulations. That you have got a correct answer. I just tricking you. If you're paying attention enough, you know that this one, you cannot read it. If you're not, it's just like this have been teaching before. You can answer it. So you keep thinking and thinking and thinking and you just saying something. That's really simple, dimple, crazy, lazy. You can also guess with this girl. What? This boy say this. What? So I feel sorry that you cannot read the rest of this story, but let me continue. Story began. What? Can you try to talk slower? This girl said. Can you try to hear faster? This boy said. So the problem here is about this boy. You need to talk slower. So this is about speak. Slow or fast? Okay. You need to talk in a medium. 
not too slow, not too fast. So the so the audience can understand. The interaction. No one write me. So the interaction. This is wait for me. Sorry, please wait for me a moment. Something got chat. I need to. Bad. Right, sorry about that. Now, what is the two things? Serve and return. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. Well, there are two things you can do with interaction. The first thing is when you speaking. When you speak, you can use eye contact to interact. You can ask the audience questions. Any questions? Any questions? Nope. Right. I just trying to make an example. And you guys got tricked. Really? <laughs> well, also, the next thing is about when you're responding. So, for example, you're asking me a question. And I can respond it. And you ask another question. I don't know how to respond it. So what should I do? Guys? What should I do if I don't know the answers? I think that I, sh I think that you should talk to this person that, sorry, I, um, I don't know the question. Can you ask another person? I think that is my answers. Right, right. all right. What about you, Gabriela? Yes. Are you really listening to me? Yes. Do so you know the question? Um, yes. I hear a little. But then something happened. My right. uh, picture like something like lightning. It's called and, and it's like cut your final question. Right, so the final question it is if the audience asks a question and you cannot read, you cannot answer it. So what should you do? What should you do? If the audience is not listening to me, I will... No, 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 no. Gabriella, listen carefully. The audience is asking questions and you cannot answer that question. So what should we do? Um, I should say like, Please, madam or, or Mr. Mrs. I was like, sorry, Mrs. Um, I am talking. I can't answer. Oh, now. no, no, Gabriella. Right. So, for example, that, that is a judge. You finish talking and they ask you a question. They ask you a question that you cannot respond, you cannot answer. So, what should you do? This don't mean that I interrupt. I was said like, okay, Mrs. I am answering another question. Maybe I will answer yours later. All right, Gabriella. Um, you nearly get the point. So this is what you should do. An audience ask you a question. You don't know how to respond. So you could say, I'm sorry, but I cannot answer your question right now. I will find more about this question. And maybe next time when I met you, I can answer it. I can answer it. So that would be respected, but it's also truthful that you can answer it, the truth, but you say it in a respected way. 
Understand? Understand, hands up. Not understand, thumbs down. Lily, right. And that's all. I oh, think your answer is, I think your answer is such a, a, such a, like my answers. Yes, but um, the, at the end, I think that we can promise them that we, we can search more. So don't mean that we just say that, but we actually okay. just let it go. We need to take it and search for it. Okay. All right. So, do you know who is this? The cat? The no, Einstein not a cat. cat? Not a cat. Not a scientist. The, science, cat. the scientist class? Um, no. I think that the, the, the cat's brain much bigger and has many no. knowledge. <laughs> no. Um, you know what cat is this? The white cat. This is the high professor, high school, colleges, scientist cat. <laughs> and he wants to say thank you for listening all what he wants to say, actually. And he wants you to do homework. And the homework is learn about it's... milk. What? <laughs> no, just kidding. Learn about milk. I'm just kidding. Right. So our real homework is I hope that you can film the video, watch the video, film the video, and the deadline is a Saturday. It okay. Is Saturday, 10 o'clock. And what? And also, don't go out so quickly. I still have something to talk about. So, all right, are you ready for the quiz? The quiz I will oh, ask please. Mm, nope. Right. Um, I will chat in the chat box. And? And you will respond to see how much you have learned. Right. Ready? Absolutely. Yeah. What you have to do when you are standing. Wait, wait, wait. I'm typing. Standing in front of crowd. Stand, stand straight. Wait, guys, wait. Stand straight. Everyone, please send me the feedback. And any, anyone who get the first and correct answer, you could get, let's see, yes, I will send the, uh, yes, the price will know later, but please, Gabriella. Gabriella? Yes? Do you know the question? Sorry, my uh, little brother has calling from the side and I can't hear. Is it okay? He's a bit naughty, isn't he? No. The question in the chat box. Gabriella? Can you be a little bit more 
Dancery is in the class a little bit? Sorry, because that I'm worried about something too much that I can't hear you clearly. No, I mean it's a chat box. In the chat box. Please type the answer. Please type the answer. All right, guys, this is what I meant. Ooh. Hi, Professor. Bye. I need to get out of this, Professor Pat. Ooh, that's better. This is what I meant. Right, thank you. So, Lily, you get one point. Okay. Lily get one point. Now, go next. Wait for me. L. D. Right, next question. Lily, are you serious? Please answer it truthful this time. Guys, that is it. Please type down the answer. Please be truthful about this question, guys. Guys. We start down the answer. Kind of. What about you, Gabriella? Please answer it truthfully. Please. Already answered. No, you write it by your own. No, already answered. Here, the, the M. Oh, I, M I see it. I see it. Yes, right. Thank you, guys. You, Gabrielle, you understand the lesson. And Lily, I, Lily, if you kind of understand it, it is fine. I will send the PowerPoint to everyone. It will be fine that you can look at it again. Right. So now one more question. Okay. Why? Retell the step of preparing a content. There. Right, guys. Guys, um, I think that is uh, first is tours, second is my math, and this one is not right. What do you mean? The step, I think the first one is the tool. And no, the second no, 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 no. Let's talk about the content. Step one, the top, uh, what's that? And then one, that first, this one is important. If you don't know the steps, you're in trouble of preparing your own presentation. This series, guys, do you really understand my lesson? Yeah. Right. So do you really understand what we need to do? 
Don't say no. Right, right, guys, this is serious. Ah, oh, the last question, I'll break you out. Let's see that if I can check your stuff. Here, the content. Reading books. This means first, you need to write the topic, outline the ideas and what you will do on the stage. Secondly, you have put out the ideas, put them in the right order, read them, fix them, understand, read them, remember, understand. Okay, read I will try to slides. remember it. Yes, I will send a slide and you, right. And you will practice. That's all. Real easy. Okay. Right. So, you already remember it, right? Yeah. Thanks for joining today. I'm very happy that you all are well. You are still very healthy. And you can, I can meet you all in online. Hope that I can meet you face to face. So it will be better. Right? Okay, Bye. and bye. Deadline.